Hello there, and welcome to my first Tekka tutorial. Now, what you're watching now is a, t a tutorial on uh, the macerator and how to build it. Three flint across, top, two cobblestone, one of these kind of blocks, and an electronic circuit. Now, if you're just here for the macerator, here it is over here. Now what this does is, well the main purpose that I would say I would use it or most people use it is, you take an ore that you have in here, or one of these, you put it in here, and it makes two dust. Now, what you can use with this two dust is to put it into one of these electric furnaces. And how you make one of these is right here, electronic circuit, redstone, iron furnace. How you make iron furnace is refined, I mean, uh, iron, oh yeah, iron furnace is just iron ingots. Pretty simple. Now, what you would do is, you would pump this, you would have like a quay or something hooked into this, you would put all your ore, pump it with a wooden pipe, and the goal is just exceptional, it's just for how fast it is, and you put it, pump it, it's a mess around. Now, you could have something like an overflow, I'll start up, yeah, you could have something like an overflow, in case you're trying to make this fully automatic. Now, you put all your ore into here. See now it should start cooking for, for the sake of this it'll cook and then it'll put whatever the output is into here and then you, you, you can pump, pump it right back out now the reason why I have this right here this um purple one it's called an advanced insertion pipe now what this does is um if there happens to be another type of block in there it'll fil it'll filter it out and put it back in chest now what you, you can do with this is just have a fully automatic kind of system here where you get ingots or well yeah bars or, or, or whatever about twice the amount of what you would normally get if you just mined it up now if you have it output into here it'll have dust now how how you can power these is windmills etc i'll have a separate tutorial for that but what you can do is have a you're out these you just have it hooked up I think you can just put it by the side right yeah so all you would need is some sort of fuel material and what a good one could be where's coal see it has started cooking Hold on. yeah so as see as it has started cooking after you put in a energy source into it now what this will do is it will cook it up start the this redstone engine now these will not blow up like combustion engines pump it through here and then it'll go into here and it makes two so that way you can actually get more ingots and stuff. As you can see, it's still cooking. That's because now the copper ore is in there. Now this whole same process can be used again. If you use one of these purple pipes, again, it will filter it back, back out. So basically, it's a fully automatic one. So wait for it to pop out. Watch, as you can see. It was just filtered out. But, I don't know why it went the other way. Hmm. Actually, no, I think it'll just work the same way. And then, once the finished product is done, it should have a... Basically, a iron ingot, but hold up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so you don't want to put a generator right, right by there, else it'll flow right through there. Let's get coal again. It's just you generally want to have these connected with um, special copper wire or diamond fiber. 
and then it is now having the results in here and how you make this is perfect as you can see you, you get twice of how much you wanted originally now if you have this fully automatic you put it up to um i don't know a, a energy can condenser to get more diamonds and stuff or you put it into a alchemical chest with that special gem that um upgrade stuff into what they are and I'm gonna show you that on the next tutorial. Anyways um this has been a mass array electronic I mean electric furnace and um next one should be rotary furnace the basically the upgrade of one of this. I mean um a rotary mass array my bad it will have two instead of one also to outputs etc now and then the upgraded version of the of an electric furnace and how to get power source if you want to do by solar and not oil or refined oil anyways um that'll be in the next tutorial anyways um stick around subscribe if you want to see the next one you don't have to you know just keep on watching videos anyways um bye